Okay, Zach, we're gonna take off. Are you sure you can handle the responsibility? I have everything under control. All right, well, you know what we talked about. We'll be gone for two days. Here's $50 for food. No parties. Mom, you're killing me. I mean it, Zach. No parties. Okay, fine. There'll be no parties. Okay, we'll see you in a few days. All right. All right, dude, they're gone. I got 50 bucks and an empty house. Call everybody, let's party. You guys, it's almost time for school. Dude, I didn't even notice the sun was coming up. We gotta get out of here then. Okay, I'll catch up with you at school. I'm gonna clean up first. Okay, sounds good. So much fun. I know. I hope we get to school on time. Seriously. Did you see the chicken running around? Oh my gosh, I did. I totally <laughs> took pictures with it. Yeah, I had my camera. I was taking pictures of that chicken with everyone. <laughs> Who brought that? I don't know, but Why it's a good thing they did. Chicken? It was fun. <laughs> Dude, Evelyn, watch the road. I'm fine. I got this. Are you I sure? got it. I got it. I want to make it to school. We'll be fine. I got it. Okay. Can't believe I'm still buzzed. Oh my gosh, yeah, me too. Well, let's just hurry up and get to school. Okay, I'm on it. <laughs> Be right there. Thank you. Bye. 
I need you to submit to a breath test, okay? How old are you? Take a deep, big deep breath, seal your lips around the straw, and blow hard like a blown up a balloon. Okay. At this point, I need you to turn around, put your hands around your back, and place them in the room for driving the influence of alcohol.
I know this is difficult for you, it's also difficult for me. But Zach was killed by a drunk driver. our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil Department as their chaplain, mm -hmm. and I'm sorry to inform you that Jesus was killed by a drunk driver. Oh my God! He left early this morning. Yeah. It had nothing happened to him because I always thought him that he can't yeah. drive like that, you know. All right. Would you like me to pray with you? Yes, please. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. In thy kingdom come. And I will be done. On earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Amen. In the last 24 hours, have you been seriously sick or injured? Um, no. Were you in a traffic accident today? Yes. So did you go to the hospital? No. Did you refuse medical care? No. So you weren't injured in your, in your vehicle accident? No. All right. Um, have you recently delivered or aborted a child? No. Do you use birth control? No. Uh, have you ever thought of suicide? No. And you're not allergic to any foods or medications? So, do you carry anything sharp on you? No. Knives, anything? No. All right, what I need you to do is spread your feet apart just slightly, and I'm gonna check your pockets to make sure you don't have anything sharp in this facility that we don't want, okay? Is this your first time in jail? Yes. Well, it's not like the movies. All right, so I'm gonna take your belt off. We're gonna place everything in a bucket and keep everything secure until you exit the facility when you're done with here. You sober up a little bit. Okay. You patch it down if you spread your feet apart. Right up. I'm going to remove this another one. I want you to do the same thing. All right. Why don't you go ahead and for me and have a seat on the floor. And I need you to remove your shoes and your socks. If you can hand those up to me. Come 
Come on in here. We're going to let you sit in here and sober up. Have a seat so you don't fall over. Have a seat. Pressure? Blood pressure of uh, 60 or 40 right now. All right, so let's hang in. Two bags sailing, blow wide open. I'm gonna open her eyes, see what they look like. They're too big. Let's start some pressure on her as well, although it's probably not gonna work. So I don't see any response to anything I'm doing to her here. Ugh. Blood from her ears. We're gonna call the code. It's futile to do anything else given the state of her brain. 1140. Hi, I'm Dr. Dufresne. I'm the emergency doctor. Are you the parents of this young lady? Well, I hope it's the right one. Yeah. I saw the sirens and it's yes. an accident, but I don't. Yeah, uh, it's a really bad accident, a really bad accident. And the, the young lady's brought in with pretty bad head and, and neck injuries. And we tried what we could to keep her, but we didn't. So you know for sure it's my daughter? You know for sure? You want to see her and let's be sure? I need to see her. She, oh, that's good, that's fine, you come with me. Good. And then another right, right into this room. This is mom. I am so sorry. This is 17-year-old Whitney Wyatt, lacerations to the face, head and arms, compound fracture to the left leg, blunt force trauma to the lower torso, cause of death, blunt force trauma due to motor vehicle accident. I'm Mrs. Wyatt, I'm Deputy Roy Horton with the Humboldt County Coroner's Office. Hi. Um, I asked you to come in to identify your daughter. You understand she was in a fatal traffic accident this morning in the city of Fortuna, and she did not survive. So I need you to come back and identify your daughter. Okay. Okay, thank you. Is this your daughter? Yes. Okay, thank you. Mm -hmm. 